Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Alex, and today I'm going to be doing my newborn must-have, newborn essentials, my top newborn favorites. Not really sure what I'm gonna name this video, but these are pretty much just the things that me and my husband needed to survive having this little girl back there. She's just chilling in her swing, she's being so good. So I'm gonna hurry up and film this video for you guys. Um, I have about 15 things, I'm not really sure, not in any specific order, but I'm just going to be talking about the things that we loved, um, and hopefully this will help you guys if you're having a baby. The first thing, which like I said, nothing is in specific order, I just have everything right over here, is Desitin. So I have two different brands, I have, or not two different brands, I have two different types. I have Rapid Relief and I have Maximum Strength. Ooh, excuse me. They both, I can't even talk today, they both work perfectly good. Um, I love them both. I just thought I would give them both a try um, but she had she's had about three diaper rashes she's almost three months old so we pretty much all this stuff we pretty much have down what we need um, and then that what works for our baby but some yeah so she's had about three diaper rashes since she's been born and this really clears it up I'll put it on maybe twice and it's already gone after that so I really really like these um, even if like she's just looking a little bit red down there I just put this on it and it clears it right up so it's really really nice the next thing, this is honestly, like I said, no specific order, but this is number one in my book, Gas Drops. This is the Mylocon Infants Gas Relief. Holy cow, this is my holy grail. I can't live without these things. My poor baby, when she was about two weeks old, two to three weeks old, she had the worst gas because something that I was eating and that was getting through my breast milk to her, but wow, it was really, really bad. And I felt so bad. She was just up screaming and screaming. And then I tried gripe water. I tried the little tummies, gas drops. I've tried a lot of different kinds. I tried the Target brand. And then I tried these. The, this one is the only one that will work for her. Um, so if you guys are having the same problem as me, try this brand. It's, I think, $10 at Target. This is already my third one I've gone through. Um, and I absolutely love it. So this is like my top favorite. The next is this nose bulb. I have a couple of these. Um, I also have the, um, what is it, the nose Frida where you suck out, where you suck it with your mouth. But honestly, I don't know if I'm just stupid, but I cannot figure out how to use it and I can't get any boogers out. I know people say that it's like number one, they don't, they can't live without it. It's amazing. I honestly have no idea how to use it. I should probably look up a video or something, but I have no idea. So I tried using these, this again and this works like a charm. It gets all her little boogies out. So this is really really good the next thing is wubbinubs this kid right here loves pacifiers so wubbinubs have been our best friend because when i just give her the regular pacifier like this by itself she spits it out it spits out it goes flying across the room it seems like so this is really nice because it actually like puts some weight down on it um she has three of these and she's just now so she's almost three months it'll be three months on the 6th of october and so she actually just started grabbing it, like and holding it in her hand, and it's so, so cute. So we have about three of these, which I actually want to get more because I feel like you can never have enough pacifiers. But Wubbinub is our go-to um, pacifier. It's like the only one she'll take, too. She only takes the little Soothe. Um, I've tried a bunch of brands, but that's the only one that she'll take. The next thing is burp cloths. If your baby is anything like Everly, this one's super cute, by the way. Let's see. It has little mice on it. Um, if your baby is anything like Everly, she's going to spit up a lot. He or she's going to spit up a lot, drool a lot. She's just started drooling a bunch, um, but she used to spit up a lot in the beginning. She still does, but now it's mostly drool. Burp cloths are my best friend. I love those things. Um, next thing is my milk snob cover. And I'll link this down below too. I'm not sure what, what the print is called, but this is what it looks like. It's so pretty, this thing is my best friend. I use it every single day. Every single day that I'm not at home, I guess. So, but I use this every single day that I go out. It just looks like this. So you can use it, oh, excuse me. So you can use it as a nursing cover or um, to go over the car seat, which is what I use the most, what I use it the most. Every time we go out in public, I'm putting this over the car seat. It's really lightweight, so they can still breathe in there. It's really breathable and it doesn't make them too hot. Um, but it keeps like all the germs out and it keeps people from trying to touch your baby when you're in the grocery store. Ew, excuse me, um, when you're in the grocery store and I just love it because nobody wants strangers touching their newborn baby. And then whenever I have to nurse her in public, I just throw this right over and this is what I use to nurse as well. So it's like two in one and it's amazing. I know that you can also use it as like a car seat or a shopping cart cover and a high chair cover, but we're not at that stage yet. She's still a little newborn, so we're not there yet. The next thing is a muslin blanket. 
or muslim swaddle muslim blanket this is the one that i have right here i think this is by the brand swaddle me um i have tons of these these things were perfect in the beginning when she liked to be swaddled um when we first brought her home for the about for about the first two weeks she loved to be swaddled but she had to have one arm out now if i try swaddling her she freaks out she does not like it but we still use this as a blanket or if i forget my milk milk snob somewhere i can throw this over the car seat it's a burp cloth i can use it as a bunch of different things um so i really really recommend um investing in some of those the next thing is a vino baby lavender and vanilla scented calming comfort bath it looks like this so everly loves to take baths okay my nose has an itch okay so everly loves to take baths um they're her absolute favorite she went through a little colicky stage um for about a week and all we had to do is put her in the bath and she would stop crying so she, one time she took about a 30 minute bath because it was the only thing that would get her to stop crying and i was at my breaking point and we tried everything we would walk the halls we'd rock her we would sway her we'd sing to her anything nothing was working except for putting her in the bath so and um this i actually have eczema so i wasn't sure if she was gonna get it or not so i just started using this aveeno one and it makes her skin really really soft and she absolutely loves it plus it smells amazing she's falling asleep back there um the next thing is actually the swing i love the swing so that's what it looks like it's a portable one actually it uses batteries you don't have to plug it in and it folds up pretty nice so if i ever need to take it somewhere i can which i have not taken it anywhere yet but if i needed to it's really nice it has batteries and she absolutely loves it she'll be fussing all i have to do is put her in that swing and she knocks right out or she likes just looking at the little toys but i think it's like the motion obviously it feels like she is being held and she loves it um one of the next things is <clears throat> excuse me next thing is zip up pajamas so we have a ton of button pajamas which are fine but i absolutely hate them because when you have a screaming baby after you get out of the bath and all she wants to do is eat and you're trying to button those little buttons on the uh, pajamas and she is very impatient it like makes you freak out because you have a million buttons to do and of course in the middle of the night when you're trying to change your diaper i know some people like it because you can unbutton just the bottom and not anything on the top um it doesn't wake them up but i hate buttons i hate them she, has, she ends up waking up in the middle of the night and then by the morning i look at her pants and it's like i buttoned them all funky because i'm like half asleep but these ones i actually found at target it's the cloud island brand and they actually zip down so instead of zipping up where you have to unzip their whole body they zip down so let me just show you real quick i don't know if i'm explaining that very well so the hook for those the zipper is up at the top and then when you're going to zip them it, you zip down so then in the middle of the night when you need to change her diaper all you have to do is zip up halfway to get her little legs out and the whole top is still zipped up so i absolutely love this it's a super cute brand uh pattern too it came in a three pack for i think only ten dollars so the any that zip down are my favorite i love them and they're the only ones that i will buy now um the next thing is i'll just try to show you it's this little play mat let's see if i can so it looks like this oh this is so awkward it looks like this it's just by the frischer price brand she loves this every morning after we eat or after i eat my breakfast and she eats I put her in that little play mat and she just looks up at her toys and she just started kicking the little piano which is super duper cute it keeps her entertained for a good amount of time um, before i try to give her a swing or when she just wants some play time or even tummy time i can do that with um the next thing is this little monkey it's called a snuggle monk i got it at target and you just push the stomach and it lights up which i have it off right now but it lights up and it plays music for i think 20 minutes and then once she gets bigger and rolls over as soon as like she would touch it it will light up again and start playing music so it's just like soothing music and she loves this thing i'll usually lay it down right by her when she's on her mat and she just looks at the lights and it's really cute so she really likes this plus it's like super duper soft so she loves that the next thing is this tula free to grow carrier so I got it in the striped print and this one is really cool because this is like one of their new ones that just came out and you don't have to have a newborn insert. All, it holds uh, 7 to I think 45 pounds. Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't remember but I know it starts at 7 pounds because I wanted something for her as a newborn. I had a wrap, um, a Moby wrap but honestly it was like really hard to put on and it was like, super inconvenient if I just want to run to the store. Um, when she was super little it was really nice but now that she's like a little bit bigger and she can start lifting up her head this thing is perfect she loves it i wear it every time i go out to the store instead of keeping her in our car seat so this is like a number one must have and the last thing that i have is the boppy of course 
I feel like that's pretty self-explanatory. I love this thing. It's easy for me to feed her. Plus, it's really nice when I need her to do tummy time. Um, she can rest up on this, and then her head's not hitting the hard floor. It's actually just hitting the soft boppy. So I love the boppy. I think that's it. Oh, I had one more thing that I wanted to put in here, but I didn't have it. It's a car mirror. So when you're driving and you look up in your rear view mirror, there's a mirror that hooks onto the back seat so you can see her in the, in the um, car seat. I'll enter a picture of the one that I have right here. Um, but this thing is a lifesaver. When I first started driving, I was so terrified that I couldn't sit in the back seat with her uh, when I was driving by myself. So this thing helps me so much. It's like really big. I can see her completely clear. It's like one of my top favorites. I love it. I recommend that to everybody that is like a panic person like me and just wants to know what their baby is doing 24-7 when you can't be back there with them. But I think that's it for this video. I shared pretty much everything that like is our go-to that I have to have. I cannot live without right now. Um, so yeah, like I said, she's three months old and pretty much all of this stuff she's been using since birth. Of course, besides like the carrier and stuff, I didn't use that right away. So yeah, this is pretty much all of our top go-to things. We love every single one of these items so much and I will definitely be using these for my next baby too. So I hope this video helped you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.